Hi everyone and welcome to the first tutorial about how to make your own add-on. Uh, it's my first time making a tutorial so it might not be the more the most interesting uh, but I'll do my best okay. Please tell me in the comment if at the end if it was interesting and if it was a good way to learn uh, and I'll try to improve in the future. I also don't know if I'll be able to make a lot of tutorial because uh, I use an application that let me record, but I don't know if eventually uh, it will ask me to, to pay or I don't know, okay? But we'll see. So first of all, uh, you'll need to go on your computer or your like PC or laptop and you'll need to download the shark tutorial that I left. So you will go on Google uh, or any navigator that you have. And also I'm sorry if my computer is in French because it's my first language, okay? Um, so you'll go on Planet Minecraft. And the link will also be in the description if you need to, uh, to find it in another way, okay? So you search on Planet Minecraft for Shark Tutorial. I really hope it's still there, but we'll see, okay? Um, Okay, it's right here, okay? So when you click on it, you should be able to download, okay? Get the shark, you click on this, continue. It will open a new page with, you see the Mediafire link. You simply have to click on it and it should appear in the corner right here, okay? If there is a pop-up page, okay, that didn't appear this time, you just have to close it, okay? So here is open in the folder. And this can be closed after. So you click on it, you hold your finger on your mouse and you uh, move it in your screen. Now you need to be able to open this. So how do you do this? Because if you click on it, you'll see that it, like you cannot open it uh, like a normal folder. So what you need to do is to click on, on it to select it. Then you click on the name. And you'll see that it will underline some parts, okay? The important part here is the MC add-on, you see? The one that was not underlined. Select it and change it for zip. Then you press enter and it will ask you if you really want to modify the extension. You press enter or you click on yes. So you see now it's a zip file that you can open to see the content, okay? So you need to select these, okay? You can select them one by one or both at the same time. And you need to move them out of the folder. So you see, you have one here and one here. This one is called Chito R MC Pack. You also need to change the MC Pack at the end for zip once again, okay? and you press enter. Do the same thing for the Tito B, zip. Now you are able to open them both, okay? This one, you can throw it in your trash. Um, you don't need it anymore. So my goal here is to explore these files with you. Uh, today you will not learn how to code or how to do your shark, but at least you will know what every files and every folder is useful for, okay? I made it simple, it's not too complicated, so you should be able to understand, okay? The first thing I want to, to see with you is the one that has a B in it, okay? So double click, open it, and you have these files, okay? We will watch them one by one, but I will start by the last one, okay? So pack icon. This one is very simple and it's kind of important. You see, it's a simple X that I've put and it's written ART, okay? This is the, the icon that appear when you play and you are about to, uh, to add the add-on in your world. You'll see that this is the icon, okay? It also comes with a description, so in your device when you play, and the description looks kind of something like this, okay, With, where it's written, this shark is initially made for a tutorial that will be on our YouTube channel, okay. You also have the name, Tito Shark Asian Roofs Team. 
the rest will not be visible okay so it is very important in fact if you don't have this manifest right here you will not be able to install your add-on like it's something very important you also have the spawn rules the spawn rules in fact uh, as the name tell it uh, you see, this process file is responsible of making the shark spawn naturally in the ocean. I made it in a way that it will be easy for you to change the location or also if you want to add uh, new places where it could spawn. For example, if you want it to spawn in warm oceans or cold oceans or any other place or also rivers or even swamp like if you want to put your shark in a swamp. Okay, This is here. Oh, please tell me also in the comment if I go if I go too fast or too slow. Uh, I really don't know, and I would really need your help to know. Okay, loot tables. This is uh, what you will obtain when the shark dies. Okay, in fact, when you kill the shark, you see this precise file is responsible of the items you receive if you kill the adult shark. Okay. So you have a lot of lines and I will come back later on this in another video, okay? As I said, today is only the exploration of the file to know what each of them is useful for. Uh, each file will be um, watched with more details in future videos. You all will also be able to add your own items if you want and add more loot to the shark okay uh, and finally the entities one of my favorite kind of file the behaviors you see and this is one of the biggest files that we have because uh, that contains all of the actions of the shark you see and yeah you all will also be able to add your own actions if you want uh, or like change some behaviors for others and all and don't worry it may look big but it's not that complex when you are used to it okay and i will teach you all about it eventually oh and i didn't show you the the second one because it's the baby shark okay and it's like very similar so this was about the behavior pack okay and now let's take a look at the resource pack uh, I will not show you, okay, the pack icon is exactly the same than in the behavior pack, okay? Uh, the manifest is also very similar, so I don't really need to show it to you, okay? Now the textures. You have different type of textures, okay? Uh, in this folder, I put the texture of the shark, okay? So, let me click on it. Uh, for me, it's too detailed, okay? There is just too much things it's 260 uh, 256 pixels by 256 pixels which is too much okay but that's the only way if you want to have something very detailed okay uh, and i'll also teach you how to compact the textures to have like less space and less storage okay you also have uh, the spawn egg that i put in a different folder So, to the shark, and you'll see it's, you know, when you select the spawn egg to spawn it, you see it doesn't have the shape of uh, an egg, because it's uh, a custom spawn egg, okay? And you can give the appearance that you want to it. And you will also learn to make more details if you want it, or less detailed, or even have a custom spawn egg that has, like, the shape of an egg. Item texture is the one that tells like, you see, for example, uh, what should be the texture of the spawn egg? Well, it's written here, okay, with the code. It's also here that you will add um, the appearance of your new items that you create by yourself. You have the text. So here is the name of the of the mobs and also the items that you will add by yourself and also the comments such as like untamed when you are about to untame the shark 
Well, it's because I entered this, okay? Or sneak to dismount, this is very important. And also the name of the sharks. And the spawn egg also. And I will also teach you if you want to put it in different language, uh, you have this possibility. Render controller. The render controller is very important. Uh, that's where you will find uh, the model of the shark, the visibility of the different parts, also the material. So for example, if you want to add a glowing bulb on the head of your shark for some reason, I don't know, or to put some glowing eyes, you will have this possibility in this file. It's also where you will put the texture and if you want to have many different texture, for example, if you want many variants of shark, this is where you will put it, okay? Also different model of sharks. The model, yes, this big fat model of shark, which is, as I said, too much details for like most of the add-ons. Just look at this. First of all, I didn't compact it because I made it very fast, like in less than one day. And like, as I say, I didn't compact it, okay? Usually it's a bunch of code that I will show you. Uh, you see, when I showed you the behaviors, uh, it was like all compacted. Well, that that is what looks like the files usually, okay? But I prefer to compact them so it's less storage for you. You will also learn how to modify the shark appearance and there are some errors on the on the model and it's wanted okay because i want you to learn how to delete some part how, how to change it add some new parts and even completely change the appearance of the shark if you want okay and i didn't told you at the beginning why i chose the shark well it's because it's not too complicated to do okay the behaviors are kind of simple um, the animations they are not too much and all of these okay and also because the shark can become pregnant in a certain way because it has its eggs in its body okay the entity this one is also very important that's where you will put every single important thing okay whether it's the texture the model the animations the controller uh, whether it's render controller uh, some part of scripts and the spawn egg okay you have all the things you need are here, even the materials, okay? But as I said, I will tell you more about it in the future, okay? The second one is for the baby shark, so I will not uh, show it to you. It's the same thing, mostly. Animations. All the animations of the shark are listed here, okay? There's not too much. There's a couple of them. As you can see, they are compacted, so you will have to uh, decompact them to understand uh, more easily so yeah um, they are there so when the shark open its mouth when it swim when it's like hovering on place or even when it's out of the water these are all there but you need an animation controller for this okay the animation controller is there to tell you at what moment you should use this animation or what moment you should use this one for example you see here there is two animation controllers one for the mouth and one for the body so that's with this file that the shark knows like when it's outside of the water it needs to move uh, in this way and when it's in the water it moves that way and also, when should it open its mouth? When should it close it? Okay, so this is all in this. You will also learn how to make other animation controller if you want it and to add more animations. So I hope it was interesting and I hope you learned some things. I know I didn't teach you many uh, detailed things, but at least now you know what each folder and file is useful for uh, and as I said tell me in the comments if you have any suggestions of how I should 
proceed for the next videos if it was too slow or too fast uh, or too hard to understand i really need to know okay and that's it for today in the next video we will watch one of the folder uh, in detail uh, i'm not sure yet when will be the next tutorial and i'm not sure uh, what will be the topic but i hope you will be there to follow this adventure with me so see you soon